Hello, welcome back to my tutorial for the Demon Slayer game on Java. And today I will show you things about the game loop. Right? So the game loop is the overall flow control for the entire game program. And uh, it's loop because the game keeps doing a series of actions over and over again until the user quits. Okay? And we will use a while loop for uh, for this game. So for that, we just go to the to our code here, and I will remove remove this code. We are no longer need this. All right. So now in the in the UI package, we create a Java class named Game Panel. This game panel uh, will be also um, a thread to uh, to handle the the game loop in future. Okay. And now we need to extend the from the J panel and import the J panel from Swing. All right. And in here we just create the constructor. And override the pen method. And in the here, I will just draw a rectangle from the S by 10 to Y E on the fan and the S alright and the hey is the same. Alright, so let's go back to the game frame here and create a game panel class game panel object sorry press no need for the object just put the panel and in the constructor before you visible the game frame you need to create the instance for this object but new game panel Sorry. And uh, then you need to add this component to the to the game frame by call the the method the method add game panel for the parameter. And then you just click run to see the result. Okay, so this rectangle is drawing on the game frame. Uh, and uh, particularly, it's, it uh, it is drilled in the game panel, and the game frame just the game panel is just inside the game frame, so that we can see the 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 rectangle on the game panel. Okay, so next we need to create the game loop. To create that, we need to okay, we need to implement. The runnable. The runnable is just the interface that provides a method named run. That method will be run when we are uh, when we use a thread. Just override the method run. The whole game loop will be inside this method. But we need to separate the the other thread. Uh, with the the UI thread to uh, prevent the freeze when we when we play the program. Okay, and in here we need to create an object named thread. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm I'm sorry, I just implement to the wrong class. Okay, I'm sorry. Just, just use it in the game panel. I'm so sorry for that. Just implement in the game. Sorry, the readable. Just override implement all the abstract method. And uh, here we need to provide a thread. And in the constructor. No, it's not. 
and we need to create a new method named store game and in here we will create new instance for its thread and put this this means the interface the runnable to this so this thread will run the method run here on another thread so we can prevent the can prevent the, the freeze on the UI thread if you don't do this you just call the run on uh, immediately on, um, on on this component without a thread you will be uh, the, the program will be freeze okay the the while loop will run uh, forever and block the UI thread from the component game panel okay so just we need to use another thread here and provide a method run to uh, separate the thread uh, separate the, the the game loop inside another thread alright so here we uh, just count the thread star the thread after you you count the star the run will be called it and here we just create a while the while represent for a game loop and in game loop we will we will uh, lock something our printer and game is update with status plus eyes and for the eye I will use this in a local variable i beginning with zero and just go back to game to the game frame here and after you add and you set visible for the game panel you will call the game panel star game and right now we run the program and see the result all right and i forgot to update the, the variable i so here we just increase one unit for every every iteration in the while loop and click run and see okay so as you can see here in the loop uh, in the console loop here the i in, uh, is increasing too fast that's mean that's mean every uh, every second uh, the iteration uh, is uh, too much okay every second is complete too much iterations so uh, that's not you know, that's not good for the for the hardware you know the hardware will be work with the uh, with a hundred percent so it will be hard and will be broken that's not good for the for the game loop okay so uh, and we need to limit it and uh, what uh, what uh, limitation every second is needed here so before that I will, uh, I will explain in something to you that's the you know the the, the iteration every every uh, every second can be called the FDB8 okay frames per second and each iteration of the game loop is uh, is known as a frame and um, you, you can see every lock here is a frame in the, in the game and here we have a many frame in a second Alright, so we don't need it for the for the normal game. We have uh, thirty or sixty for the um, for the more common interval. So that we need to uh, need to change it to limit it. Alright, so I will I will copy the the game loop the old game loop in the in my project for faster and I will explain it to you later right just go in UI and go to the game panel and just go to the 
run and copy the whole thing in this method close it and go here and just all right I just recommend this all right so you can see here this is the the game loop with limit uh, limit frame okay And uh, um, yeah, sorry. Okay, we will explain something here. All right, before that, I will uh, lock the eye again to see what limit system now print game is up there. Await status. Ah, it's plus plus and run it okay you can see here in the lock screen the the eye right now is increasing slower sl slower and uh, this is very good for the CPU for the hardware device and so that we can we can put the update and the render for the game in this game loop. So the first, the first uh, variable here, the periods, doesn't mean the the app yet. Okay. Mm, ah, I'm sorry. And that's not the app yet. That's it. The the interval for every frame. For an. Uh, that's mean uh, we have a. Uh, Okay, so we have a 20, 20, 20 millisecond for every frame and in, in that time we can update, we can draw in and for the rest time in this interval we can slip you can see here after you update and you render something on the game and when you call this, you uh, we we lost we lost the time to do uh, these actions, so that we need to uh, get the time when when they have when, when they finish, and then we we will accept we will get the rest time by accept the 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 time lose here and get the sleep time, so that we can. If the sleep time bigger than zero, that means the rest time is bigger than zero. We will sleep that time, so uh, so that we can we can current that the uh, the period is on way twenty, and we can we can get this period by uh, by using this we get a hundred a hundred um. That's mean the the time the the the, the a second okay we have a hundred se a millisecond in a second and divided by sixty to get the barriers for sixty I be at here right and just run it to see it right I'm sorry I just removed the the love. But uh, I I think we, you can understand this because uh, it's very simple. And if you don't know everything, please leave us a comment below the description. I will explain it to you. Or you can go to my website, go to the tutorial, and see uh, see the tutorial in uh, ready in the tech. So you can easily easier to uh, to understand more more thing. Okay, so that's it for this video, and uh, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.